Welcome back. Y'all wanna see my apartment? I thought maybe I would do a quick art tour. This is the main one people notice. This was an illustration that was used in a poem by Maya Angelou. You know what, I'll just show it on the screen right now. Y'all can read it. I bought this piece from a TikTok artist called Orange Juice for Dinner. Like, that's so me in my apartment. This is from a local Denver artist. This is Alabama. Um, you know, I'm born and raised from Alabama, and it's from a farmer's market in Birmingham. I have this, like, Stussy print just because the surfing is cool. This one is just strictly because it's cool. There's no good backstory. This, I have a great backstory from, um, this is uh, Muhammad Ali, like a painting, but I cut this out of a picture book and the picture book was, was like this big, gorgeous, glossy book full of sports illustrations. And I got it in college because I took this painting class and I won like an award for some of the work I did. Just like, it was intro to painting. It really wasn't that serious. But as the award, instead of giving like a trophy or a medal or whatever, my professor gave me this book full of sports illustrations. She knew I was a basketball player and I did a painting with, um, boxing it's actually right here this is my painting from college the assignment was like you had to do a bunch of layers so you started with one layer in the very back like there's like this navy blue okay the next one is like the boxing ring around the outside and the one after that was like the little trophies there's four gray trophies you can't really tell um, the next one was the ribbon, the next one was the adding the gold outline of the trophy, then the shorts and the hands and the gloves, and then, then there was sweat and there's like blood coming off. Like, I don't know, y'all. I just love boxing. Like, I don't know. I love the aesthetic of boxing. Do I ever watch it? No. This is another painting by this same artist, Best Squat. Is that how you pronounce it? Please, please be, please be right. And it's also boxing related, so we clearly have a theme. Look at this sick Michael Jordan uh, picture. I played college basketball, so of course I'm a Jordan fan. And this is one of my favorite paintings ever. This is just a postcard from the Denver Art Museum that I have a annual membership to. But I just love this one. It's just this guy painting by himself. They have this print literally not far from me in the art museum. and. He's so me, like that's me. That's literally me just sitting by myself doing my thing. And here's some more prints. Frank Ocean Blonde was from Etsy. I've had this in my room since freshman year of college. Here's a laundromat. I bought this at a farmer's market in Denver. It reminds me of Everything Everywhere All at Once, which is one of my favorite films I've seen recently. This is Artemis, Greek goddess. I've had this in my room since I was a child. And it's crazy because I have this tattooed. That's Artemis. This is like, I think this was my third tattoo ever. There's more over here. Hee <laughs> hee.
Capitalism is alive and well, baby. I might look a little crazy right now, but I promise you I have a plan. Look, this is Italian like hot sausage. I already made some like crispy bacon and I'm cutting up this onion and I've already cut up this kale. What do you guys think I'm cooking? Well, let me tell you because you probably would never guess, but I'm making Zuppa Toscana, which is the Olive Garden soup. And it's so funny because when I was in high school, I worked at Olive Garden as a server assistant. Um, which I thought meant I was basically going to be a server or an assistant to the server. No, no, no. I was a bus boy. I was cleaning up like the nastiest, most disgustingest, ran through family tables. Like, like kids would be picking their pasta up with their hands, throwing it on the floor, smushing it up, smearing it in a paste onto the godforsaken um, table. I was cleaning that shit up with no tools, but a damn dish rag. I gotta stop cussing. I was cleaning that stuff up with no tools, but a dish rag in my hands and just the audacity. By the way, my camera setup is a tripod that I'm holding up. Anyway, the reason I have the glasses on is not because it's a style choice, but because I'm chopping onions. And last time it hurt my eyes so bad that I like dead ass cried and just face palmed for a little bit. So hopefully this will help less get in my eyes. I have ski goggles, but I realized they were in my car and it's not worth the trip. So let's chop. Okay, I'm gonna do this while I'm speaking, but today is a good day because I didn't have any plans after work. And usually I have friends to meet, have someone to see, I have to go coach, like I'm coaching twice a week. But I didn't have any of that and I've been busy, like my dad was in town last week and so it was just been like go, go, go. I haven't had any day where it's like after work, like I can genuinely do whatever I want. Also don't look at the technique too much on this, okay? Like I'm not that good at it. I, this definitely cannot be the way that you're supposed to hold a knife, but <laughs> okay. Days where I don't have to do anything after work can be either really relaxing, peaceful, and restorative, or they can be kind of anxiety inducing because there's this idea of like, well, since I have nothing to do today, I need to get everything done that I didn't have time to do on the other days. And that definitely was true. Ooh, it's getting to the eyes. It's getting to the eyes. <laughs> if I cry, I'm just gonna keep cutting. But um, it was definitely true today because I was like, I need to clean, I need to read. I've been talking about wanting to paint. I haven't painted. I've been talking about wanting to run. Like, And I'm like, honestly, at the end of the day, you can only get so much done in 24 hours and really it's not that much time after work so you can't get everything done and trying to get everything done might result in actually getting nothing done. But we got something done and I went to the grocery store because one of my favorite things to do when I have the time is to cook. I've said it before on here but I think it's so relaxing and such a fun thing to like do by yourself. It's also just a life skill. Okay, this is not... <laughs> I'm just gonna slam through this. Hold up. I've been watching Dune on Netflix, which is like a three hour movie. And it's really like well acclaimed and has gotten a lot of like awards and stuff this season. And I love watching critically acclaimed movies because I've discovered within this past year that like I'm really into film and stuff. And I sit here and make my damn YouTube videos and feel like a mini director. And the other day at work, we had this like check-in question where it was like, we always have like an icebreaker question. I work remote, so it's kind of like hard to have casual conversations like that. But the icebreaker question is kind of how we do it. And we have one every day. And one was asking like, oh, if you like do a, any career and money was no object and you knew you'd be successful, like what career would you do? Movie director. That's what I said. Because, oh my God, have you guys seen Greta Gerwig? Like I love her so bad. I do think it's so cool in terms of creative process to have like, imagine you just had like a really big budget and you got to make the Barbie movie and they gave you like a script, but you got to interpret it how you wanted. Oh my God. Wouldn't that be so fun if you had all the time and money in the world? Yeah. That is like, that is art, that is storytelling, but it's also commercial and it's like glamorous and oh my God, I need to clean this. Anyway, I'm gonna cook this soup. It's like a cold winter day. I'm like really chill. I got everything I needed to get done today and I'm gonna watch the rest of Dune. There's still like an hour and a half of it left, so woo. And also like no shade or whatever, but watching a movie by yourself, like you, when you get to really, really like shut up and get into it, especially a movie like 
Like Dune is like a sci-fi kind of movie, so there's like, it's really plot thick and there's all these different names and like moving parts, so it's kind of hard to keep track of. It's definitely not like a lighthearted movie. So I'm like, oh my God, when you can just sit down and really get into it and appreciate the, the little subtleties of a movie, because you just watch by yourself and you can pause whenever you want. Oh my God, girl, I'm getting into it. I'm such an introvert. By the way, there's a trash can right here. I'm not just like throwing this down to the floor, but. Girl, I have the minced garlic in the fridge too. I could just pull that out and plop it in with a spoon. I don't have to do all this. Get sticky hands for no reason. I always see people cooking really nice looking recipes on TikTok and I'm like, oh, I wish I was a cook like that. Like that would be so fun. And then I'm like, wait, I have free will. I can literally learn and do anything I wanna do. So there I am at the King Supers getting garlic and here I am wishing I just bought the minced version instead of trying to do this shit myself. The past couple of days I've just been working myself into an absolute bizarre frenzy um, because I started thinking about, oh, all the little hobbies that I said I wanted to pick up in 2024. I was thinking about them and I'm like, oh, I haven't done them. Oh my God, I need to take action. Oh my God, I need to take action right this second. Oh my God, everything in my life needs to pause and I need to stop right now and sign up for this. I have like these those these kind of impulsive moments where I feel like I'm stagnant and I'm like, oh no, I've got to make some action right now to make myself like feel better or to like make progress. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. But to make progress towards these goals. So the um, progress I made was there was this yoga studio and I tr finally tried a class there after like wanting to for a long time because I work out a lot and like I lift a lot and I run some um, and I just kind of wanted something more chill like balance that out but it's also still like social and like outside of the house. And also that's kind of like mindful almost like a spiritual kind of dimension like something that was just like that would help my mental health too. Not that it's bad, but you know what I mean? Just something to balance it out. Finally tried a class, loved it. Of course, they've been um, harassing me via text about join now, join now and get a membership discount. Join now and we'll give you the first month free. So I was just like hesitating, hesitating, hesitating. And after they said first month free, I was like, you know what? Matter of fact, Emma from yoga studio, whatever, sign me up girl, because whatever, like I need to feel like something is changing. To, in order to feel like I'm making progress. So stuff, shit gotta change. And so I got the yoga studio thing yesterday and I'm gonna start trying to go like two or three times a week. Like it doesn't even have to be crazy. And they gave me the first month free. So it's like, <laughs> y'all losing money for me at this point. Listen to this band. They sound so good. I was just looking up concerts coming up in Denver and I found them. They're performing at like a little dive spot um, for $15 or $16 this weekend. And I'm getting tickets and I'm totally gonna go, but I did not expect them to be actually good. Hold on.
avenues. My soup. It could all be so simple. You could just make a soup. You know? I got sent a bunch of prime uh, electrolyte drinks for free as PR. So I've been trying those, even though they're associated with Logan Paul, which I'm like, Logan Paul. How do you like my spider gear, spider basketball? University of Richmond, class of 2022. Yep, I just went on a three mile run. I'm just trying to get into the habit of running. I did a three mile run earlier this week and I did one now and I might do one more before the end of the week. But I'm slowly trying to get to the point where I can run um, a half marathon by June 1st. And I'm running and I'm like, this shit sucks. Why would I ever want to do this? Why do people even try to do this? And then I realized, yeah, it doesn't really matter that it sucks. That's kind of the whole point. You push through the suck and then you kind of have a little win. And once you get to the end, the runner's high feels kind of good. Like right now I'm like, woo! But while I was running, I was like, bro, I really wish I could walk right now. And I was this close, but the, my commitment to myself is I can try as slow as I want, but I'm not gonna walk. I don't know why, that just makes me feel better. Also, at the time I'm recording this, it's Valentine's Day and I have a date. But I am gonna get dressed and I'll show you what I'm wearing. Okay. Hold on. Hello again. I feel like I'm always wearing all black on dates and I just, I need to switch it up. So we're going here. Navy pants, white boots. These pants have like the little pleats right here. So they look all sharp. I've got this um, white and blue striped shirt, which kind of is giving me church service Sunday. But then when I put it on, it has a nice crop to it because I cropped it and hemmed it myself. <laughs> but, oh, don't look at this. <laughs> You know, I come bearing gifts. Stop playing with me. But when I button it up, it actually looks kind of cool. Very boy coated. I hope that you can see this well. Oh, kind of dressing like this, like this boy-ish in public is kind of scary, but also like healing my inner child at the same moment because I always wanted to wear button-ups and stuff and I always felt scared to especially if I'm like around my parents so it's been like a big change that the people that I see all the time here wouldn't appreciate because they've only known this Claire but it's like a big change to go from in Alabama trying to be straight passing with my little long to my waist hair now I'm out of school I moved across the country and like I got the short hair I'm like wearing the clothes I always wanted to wear um, I do feel kind of still self-conscious about people staring at me in public. I do think people stare at me in public. I don't know exactly why though. It could be number one, the obvious one, which is they've never seen a lesbian before or two, they've never seen a sexy lesbian before. Um, like maybe you think I'm hot or three, you've seen me on TikTok or Instagram, which at Claire underscore whole 12, go follow. But anyway, maybe you're staring at me because you've seen me on TikTok. Like I genuinely don't know, or just because I'm different looking than like a normal girl, you would just whoop, like not even thinking about it. You would take a longer glance. I don't really know. I don't really fear anything though. And I've never experienced any kind of like ill treatment in Colorado. So, whoop. Um, but I do have to fake a little bit of confidence until I get going and then I feel better. But like with anything else, I take little risks. I get gradually more comfortable and knowing that this is the real me and that I like myself and I think I look cool kind of gives me the confidence. So I just walk around like I know I look cool even though sometimes I don't really know. I'm gonna arrange these better, but this is the starting point.
again, take your time. And what you're doing when you draw a square is, when you're starting to look at the proportion, is this side, it's an edge that side. Are you getting it perfectly? Let's take your time. Get out of it. Try and slow down. Get those squares. Get up. All right, good. Now let's try the triangles. So these are all, you know, just ways of getting familiar with notes, the pen. Just get into the flow. You're about flow quite a lot. The creative flow. That means that you're, you're just you're not judging, you're not belaboring, you're not berating yourself. You're just what's interesting is a lot of these things are really the things that make up other things when you're making. Shapes. So, shapes are basically, quite literally, the building blocks of drawing. Ignore my hair, ignore my face. Um, I went to hot yoga earlier today, which I've never been to before, but I signed up for a yoga membership. Anyways, I went. What just happened to me? First of all, when it started off, I was like, all right, y'all are a bunch of like, who are you guys? Like, you guys don't look like athletes. But it was fun once it got flowing and it got fast, like to the point where I could barely keep up. It's like downward dog, your legs up in the air. It's coming through, it's touching it through. You're, you're standing up. Now you're standing on the one foot. Now you reach it through. Now you triangle, backwards triangle. Hey, I hit this. Y'all can't see it, but I'm in a full lunge squat, body, whole body twist. Bop, legs trembling. It was a little bit embarrassing. I wonder how we did like a side plank. You know how your arm gets that little tremble? Yeah, I was in one of those for sure. But it was so hot to the point where I was like dripping everywhere. And I'm not even gonna lie, I did have the thought where it was like, um, this heat is just a placebo to make this feel like a hard workout when it's not a hard workout. Simply not a hard workout. But that's kind of what I wanted. I want it to be like a relaxing, mindful meditation, like move your body around, get a little sweat like chill type of thing. Like I'm not trying to like lift and tone the body. I'm trying to relax. It's supposed to counteract the weightlifting and running I do. And I think it's gonna do that. Especially, it's like a good active rest day thing. But am I like fatigued by it? Like not for real. Also I wanted to show this cool thing. I was in um, San Diego recently. I don't know if you saw my last vlog, but there's a bookstore there called Verbatim Books in North Park. Um, but I bought this little pamphlet. I don't know if you guys have ever been to like a local bookstore, like a used bookstore, indie, like small business. They usually have like these, um, what, are, what, are, what what would the word be for the like independent publishers, like local people, like bring their like, uh, little short works and like pamphlets almost. A lot of bookstores have sections like this if it's a used bookstore. Anyways, um, this one said no sticky note is safe, but what I liked about it, first of all, it's mostly full of little drawings. I really liked looking at them. This whole book was like $4, but I found it kind of inspiring. Like it was like, this was someone's sketchbook. And there are like greater themes to it, but just like the, in general, the collage of like, ooh, my sketchbook. Like, oh, I just love that. But what struck me the most, of course, was this part that says, don't kill your cringe. Kill the part of you that cringes. Y'all heard that message. And I immediately was like, absolutely. And then I picked it up and I started flipping through the rest of it. I was like, this is cool. Look at this last one. It made me think, ooh, I wanna try and draw something like that. And you see, here I am trying to draw. I don't know what I'm doing, but I wanna get a cool sketchbook and I wanna make something like this. I feel like so often we're full of little distractions that take up all of our time. Like we're on our phone, we're watching Netflix, we're at work, we're at home. It's always one between the other. You always have like little interests that you wanna pursue, but you don't have time to do. And today I just had like the time. So I said, no, 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 I'm not gonna open that Netflix. I'm gonna sit here and play with the sketchbook. So literally, dumbest most basicest stuff ever but i'm not staring at a screen and it's kind of relaxing to like draw a bunch of triangles what the hell 
I'm also cooking a steak and potatoes and broccoli right now, <laughs> which I love. Boy dinner. Holy shit. And this thing cost me $10. It was on sale. Oh my God. And look, I got this fat baked potato I'm about to put together. I've steamed some broccoli. I was mixing it with some seasoning. Hold on, let me get the plate together. Let me just say this, vegetarians, I'm gonna need y'all to look away right quick. I don't eat with my hands. I'm, I usually eat with a fork, but for the purpose of this video. If I eat a meal like this, mental health automatic boost to 100. Physical health automatically boost to 100. Mood automatically boost to 100. I'm telling you, good eats. I mean, dang, I mean, how could life be bad? Oh my God. You are watching a YouTube video of a YouTube video. I love Marcus Milioni. Probably, probably the best case scenario. I wasn't expecting it. It's not him. Not him. Right on, brother. <laughs> right it's on. him. They run a brand called Minted New York, which was like, it popped off on TikTok from Marcus's account, like when TikTok was still first popping, I wanna say this was like 2021. Anyway, it's a really big streetwear account. He makes all whatever like cool custom clothes he wants, like cool jackets, cool pants, t-shirts, hoodies. I'm just like, wait, that seems like a really cool job. But what I'm more interested in is the marathon training. This dude is running like under seven minute miles for like 13 mile runs. What the hell? I just think it's so cool. So I like to watch his training. Anyways, bye. Hey, 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 what the fuck? <laughs> It's a nice way to like document my own life. I do wonder what it would look like to somebody else, even though I can never really tell because I'll never really be able to see it without all the context I have of it. But I'm really excited for in the future when I'm able to look back on these YouTube videos and be like, wow, I remember that time of my life. I hope you guys have been enjoying these YouTube videos. If you have, please like, subscribe. I love all of you people that comment um, and I read them all and I try to reply to them all. So thank you so much for your support and I'll see you next week.